We're taking a closer look at who the candidates are tonight. Governor Greg Abbott won the pre-debate coin toss, which means he'll take the first question in the debate. With that in mind, we will start with Governor Abbott as we begin our look at the stories behind the candidates. Phil Prazen shows us Abbott's life forever changed when he was 26 years old. On July 14, 1984, an ambulance rushed Greg Abbott to the hospital. An oak tree fell on the 26-year-old while jogging with a friend. He spent a month in the hospital and six weeks in a Houston rehab facility. While he watched other patients devote their lives to regaining the ability to walk, Abbott turned down experimental treatments. He'd use a wheelchair the rest of his life. It immediately clicked that if I spent any time on trying to be able to walk again, that would be time lost. I never allowed myself to be weighed down with, oh gosh, what have I done this or that, or how my life would be different. Instead, I always cast my eyes forward and move forward in life as opposed to constantly looking back. Greg Abbott was born in Wichita Falls. His family moved around northeast Texas before settling in Duncanville. When he was in high school, his father passed away of a heart attack. It was a big loss and there's a, a vacuum in your life whenever you lose a parent and it immediately thrust more responsibility on my mom and it thrust more responsibility both on myself as well as my brother. He excelled at track and field, was voted most likely to succeed and graduated from the University of Texas at Austin. That's where he met Cecilia. The couple married in 1981. And three years later, just before the bar exam, that accident left him paralyzed. In the months ahead, his new life tested his faith. Why did this happen? How could you allow something like this to happen, etc.? But I found that the more I ask, uh, the more questions seem to be provided with solid answers. And one of those answers was Cecilia. You take an oath for better, for worse, and sickness and health, until death do we part. Mm -hmm. uh, at a time of a marriage, that's so easy to recite. And she was put to the test in sickness and in health, but it was a challenge that she embraced uh, with great support for me, and that made our relationship and our marriage even stronger. He passed that bar exam and went on to practice law in Houston. The Abbots adopted their daughter, Audrey, and began planning a future for her while he decided to make the next step. He grew frustrated when he thought local judges missed the mark on the law. The reason I went to law school to begin with is because I cherished the rule of law in this country. I wanted to make sure that it was preserved and passed on. I wanted to be a judge myself so that I would do it right. His work as a Harris County judge caught the eye of then Governor George W. Bush, who appointed Abbott to the Supreme Court of Texas. And when the incumbent Texas Attorney General moved on in 2002, Abbott ran for the job and won. A path that eventually led him to the governor's mansion. 